Welcome back, one and all. I'm here with another league race at Spa. Oh, just pulled out in front of me. As a Toro, so just pulls out in front of us in the pit lane. But we're here, part of the Speed Force Racing Reserve League for round one. And we're going straight into qualifying in Spa. We run towards the line here. Where's this time going to put us? It's on provisional pole at our banker lap for 44 7. So I believe it's already quicker than we managed in Racing League Hub round at Spa. See, we're now onto our second lap. We've got a the guy in fourth, the Torres are just in front, and oh, enter Stavolo. Oh, come on. Not happy with that at all. We were double purple. Can you block me anymore? Two and that is put our lap off, off as we came out of Stavolo, no speed at all. Now we're on to our third lap. See, we're already half a second up here, flying on this lap, surely to go pole. We go through, who on? Cut the curve, a little bit wide, and no. Absolutely gutted. At the end of validation they're running just a little bit wide but now this is going to be we backed off for that didn't have time to come to the pit so we had to back off trying to save as much energy as we could and we're going to go again going into la source now and the run towards eau rouge see we're already coming up to a tenth and a half up on our banker lap he's very gutting you know, that's probably the slowest we've come through there um out of these two disqualified like in comparison to two disqualified laps i should say drs now wide open he's run out of kevel straight to the end of the first sector back yeah we're gonna get up to a tenth and a half up and we go down into lecom running through this very flowing start of the middle sector trying to take as much of the curb as we can there and then down the hill very hard braking zone just run a little bit wide but you better carry the speed through the corner onto the exit corner with no name and then the run towards the fast pool and this time gonna be careful not to run too wide because this will be our last lap of the session. Get that just about perfectly. We're now four tenths up on our banker lap, so not as good as it was last time around, but at least we have a valley lap. No cars in front, and the yellow flag is behind us, so we should be okay for the time being. Coming out of into the last sector now. See, we're half a second up purple in the middle sectors. That was a very good run through there. And now the run towards Blanchemont and the final chicane, the bus stop chicane. Going to go flat out, eighth gear through Blanchemont and out, pick our breaking point for the last time in qualifying. Working down into second gear, keep it nice and tight between the two curbs and then the bolt towards the line with DRS wide open and it is going to put us on provisional point to 44.0 which is about nine tenths up on our racing league hub qualifying time. So Found a lot of time in the space of two weeks. And you see that puts us second in the end as Kill Bill did improve to get into the 43 club. But not too bad. Seeing our, looking at our pace, we should be one of the faster guys in the lobby. But Con behind is starting on the mediums. Bear that in mind. And we're jumping straight into the start. We've got four, five red lights now. And lights out and away we go for the Speed Force Racing Reserve League. See, we've not got the best of starts. Kill Bill's gone into the distance already in so I've been hit potentially up the rear that I wasn't sure if I was hit or I just under braking just I don't know lost a bit of traction or something and then we're going to run towards oh he's going to be side by side with Ryan Van Dien we're sort of trying to give him the space but he cuts across I lose control of the car and hit into the wall and we have lost half our front wing and all the momentum going up the hill see we've been overtaken by pretty much the whole field and it is an absolute disaster of a start here especially from such a good qualifying position and we knew we had good pace and we're down into p13 now effectively the back of the grid coming to the pits for the hards i went for the hards tried to go to the end and i know we have a spare set of softs left so if the safety car crops about we can come in for a set of softs and front wing change too for good measure so try and catch up the back of the field now we sort of do need an early safety car just to try and bunch back up and that is exactly what we got on lap three and try and catch the pack up as quickly as we can. However, I missed. The, I did not look at the delta. I completely ignored it. And at this point, I was too busy trying not to go off the track. And it flashed very quickly there. We received a drive through penalty. Drive through penalty for speeding under the safety car. And as we come to the end of that, other guys pitted. So we moved up into eight. Come to the end of the safety car period. We right on the back of the Red Bull, but I don't think we'll be close enough to make any moves down into turn one. 
See, the Taurus has gone very wide there, Ramad Zoom. The Mercedes looks as he get past him as he gets all over the kerb. We still look a little bit too far back, even though we're in hot lap mode here. We're going to try and run up O'Rouge full speed. We're going to keep the foot to the floor. We'll have a big lift through O'Rouge. Probably should have kept it flat to try and catch up. I think we're going to be too far back to do anything into this corner. But we maybe try and pick up the pieces of this little puzzle up in front. Now looking behind, the Red Bull still look up the inside. He's still there. He's still there. The Taurus has tagged him. And the Red Bull's gone around. We backed off considerably to avoid him. And that's a free position for us there. Very good signs there. And up in the, onto lap seven now. We're right on the back of Ryan Van Doom. We're going to be in the toe now as we go down the Kemmel Strait towards Lecom. He's going to cover the inside very, very early on. But we're in the slipstream. We look towards the outside. Can we have breaking both on hard compound tyres? Down the gears. I'm going to try and hang it round. But he cuts straight across. Runs us sort of out of room. He gives us no option but to back out. Good high racing, to be fair, though, from him. And we carry on anyway. But as I said earlier, we had a drive-through penalty and I had to serve it. We didn't get past Ryan Van Doom before doing so. And we're going to come through to serve this. An absolute thriller of a drive-through. DRS is enabled. We're going to be jumped straight to the back of the field again. So not ideal for us, especially considering we could probably be in the fight at the front looking at our qualifying pace anyway as we move on as we are the wishes i wish came true and we managed another safety car came out and you see it is the mercedes to the right there that has gone off at the top of radion and we see we're coming into the pits this lap i'm going to go softs to the end try and be racing towards the end so we did think about doing this at the start and it seems to come to the end of lap 13. They've got a period. We've got the Toros who's, who glitched in front of me and then went into me, ghosted inside me and he's still behind me and then disappears. See, the arrow at the bottom just disappeared and I, I was so confused. So I turned around, I could not see him. So I don't know what happened there. But anyways, we're into La Source now. We see Ryan do going again over here. Well, Oliver's obviously right on the back of him, but we're Going to be looking at kill build. I think we're too far back to do anything just yet. And see now onto lap 15. We're right behind Con Oliver. Go through Bonch one. We're right into it, up his gearbox. And potentially looking for a move now. He sort of covered the inside, sat in the middle of the track. And we went just a little bit too wide. Breaking on the grass. Had absolutely no stopping force. And ran a bit too wide. And couldn't attack there. And then onto lap 16. We caught through again. And Con Oliver's gone very, very wide there. Running all over the kerb. As we set a lovely middle sector and a purple first sector. And now we're going to be right on the back of him already. Potentially looking to get the move done before Blanchemon. And have our choice of breaking points down into the bus stop. We're through already. Up his race gear in hotline. We're trying to get the fastest run towards this corner now. We're going to cover the inside. Oh, he's going to go die down the inside. We're going to take the race on. Give him the room though. And get the move done in the second far part of the corner. We've got DRS which will really help us towards turn one. We set a personal best as well for good measure. And we take a nice wide line just to make sure we keep the position. And now we're back with two cars in front, side by side. Kill Bill and also the man who started on pole. Van Doom, the guy who we crashed into at the start. They're going to go up by Rouge. Bit of contact. And we, oh, we just managed to slide through the gap. Pure luck there, I think. And Cod Oliver is right beside us already. We have DRS as well as he does. We're on the inside. He's on the outside. It's me. Who's going to be there latest on the brakes? And we are going to keep the position. So good work there defending. And now we've got Lewis up in front. Look at the podium. And we're going to be right on the back of Lewis now. And he's run very wide at the top. And we're going to be all over him, even before the DRS zone. And it's up into a podium play. So what a race this has been. Started second, down to last. Managed to make up a few places, had a drive through, down to last again. And another safety car. So we were catching the Mercedes in front. But the safety car pulled us right up to him. You see, the end of the safety car period, the Ferrari has bolted. We're clear of Lewis behind. And we've got Luke Bailey in front. That second place where we started. Try and get it back if we can. And coming out of the final corner, a bit too eager on the throttle. We get a bit squirmy. And he's already pushed the gap probably over a second now. With two laps to go. That's really compromised us, is it? We're now onto the final lap of this race. We've managed just to claw back enough to get on the back of him towards the bus stop. But see, we're still very far back. Did a lot of saving. 
because I thought we would catch him a bit sooner than this if I wanted to view. But anyway, we're on to the back of him now, giving it everything we've got. Everything's turned up to the max. There's a right on the back of him. Too far back, probably to have a dive. We had a look. He looks like he's gone a bit too deep on the brakes. We're going to try and do the switch back. See if we can get him on the exit. We're getting a much better traction on him. We're going to get in the slipstream as well. Look to the inside. But, oh, just not quite close enough. It's a tenth that separates us. And not bad. It was a very good recovery drive and a good debut in Speed Force Racing. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.